Hello fam and welcome back to another video. This is our monthly family Costco grocery haul for this month and I can't wait to show you what we got. I was trying to stick to a really strict budget as you know. We also do our monthly meal plan with weekly revisions and we also inventory, check our fridge, pantry and freezer, make sure we're using up everything that we have so nothing goes to waste. And if you do want to stick to a budget, make sure you go into Costco with a list. That's a great way to save money. Get a lot of questions about the coupon book. You do not have to clip coupons, okay? You just go in there and when you check out, it comes off. Always double check your receipt and make sure, but yes, it's automatic. By the way, if you go between coupon books, always double check. They do have some random sales and it's really fun to look for those. Be careful, stay on budget, right? But just, it's fun to look. Also be sure to comment below on your favorite Costco find ever and check the description and pinned comment to join our foodie community and grab your free Costco family freezer meal cookbook. If you like videos like this, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help us here to bring you these videos. Now let's get into it. And we're just getting back from Costco and this is a mid-month grocery haul. Not quite for June, not quite for July because the new coupon book is gonna be coming out real soon. I got some new things. I got some things that I haven't tried before and I'm gonna share with you a little bit about the meal ideas. Spent right around $150. So I wanna share with you kind of how you can shop there on a budget. I also got a couple things from a local grocery store over there that were marked down and reduced. And I'm gonna talk about that and how I save money with that. I did get some Starbucks coffee. And here's the thing about Starbucks. Now, I got this Starbucks with my Fetch Rewards. If you guys aren't using Fetch, it's basically an app where you scan receipts and you earn rewards. And I basically cash out my rewards for gift cards. And as you can see, I don't normally get Starbucks, but I, I normally get Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't really like the reward system lately. I don't know, let me know what you guys prefer, Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. It's really good, mm, mm-hmm, mm. Delicious. But first, let's get into this. This is the all-natural turkey, ground turkey by Butterball. These are, you get four in here, but these are about a pound and a half each. So for $20, you get four, and I use it for everything. Everything when I'm not using ground beef, I like to make meatloaf, I like to make lettuce wraps, I like to make stir fries, I like to make all different kinds of things. So you can use the ground turkey as a replacement for the round beef for anything and everything. Got the five dozen eggs, about $10. So I think that's a really good deal considering, you know, where eggs, if you can find them cheaper in your area, that's cool. Right now, my budget price, you know, I used to, I remember the days when eggs were like 79 cents a dozen. Right now, the, the kind of, you know, price that I'm looking at is if it's about $1.99 a dozen, I'm okay. Like if I can get it under that, even better. So this comes to about $1.97 a dozen. So I'm gonna go with it. And this is now like one of the only eggs my that they carry. I think they carry maybe like, an 18 pack my my costco doesn't have a lot of eggs but still pretty good just to go in for that like if you just go to costco for eggs and for gas you're saving money right there and probably paying for your membership this is the huge italian style beef meatballs i've been wanting to try these and i tried them before uh, someone had got you know let me try them and you get six pounds for 17.99 you can make so many different things entrees appetizers sandwiches we make meatball subs i did barbecue meatballs in the crock pot i put them in a pasta sauce these are very versatile and what i like about them is you can keep them in the freezer and you can just microwave them because they're already cooked or you can throw them in a you know a nice casserole or put them in a pot of sauce and showing over here like what kind of was impressed with with the uh I still go low carb here and I think let me just see for five meatballs it's four net carb so that's really good considering and these are big meatballs so they're the Italian style which means they're not too they're not spicy they don't have a like big flavor profile so whatever you put them with they're going to kind of like grab onto that taste $17.99 for those these were the four block broccoli ferret bags, so you get four in here, it's about $8.99. They've raised the price, like I've been saying in the videos, but still really good because you get the nice big broccoli heads. I got a big thing of ground beef for $25, and it's right around, I think it's right around five pounds. I'm going to put it into five pound packages and freeze it. Got baby spinach. Love this. It's about $3.99, and I am so excited because I didn't even know that they had this. This might be new because I've been waiting for them to get Philadelphia cream cheese. They used to have the long brick and then they stopped carrying that back in the pandemic. And then they only had the tubs for the longest time, the longest time. But this is a five pack and it was $10.99 and it comes to about $1.89 per Philadelphia cream cheese brick, which I think is really amazing 
considering that typically even at Walmart, they're about $2.49 to $2.99 for just one brick of cream cheese. I use it for everything. I use it for my broccoli cheddar. I use it for my Alfredo. I use it for everything and anything that requires heavy cream. It's a great kind of alternative that I don't have to buy a huge thing of heavy cream because heavy cream just tends to go bad pretty quickly. All right, so just just kind of a heads up on that. I got the decaf blend. Now this used to be and used to say Starbucks. It doesn't say Starbucks on it anymore. So I'm a little confused. Let me show you here. I don't know. I don't know if they changed the vendor. It used to be blue. They changed the packaging. It's only $13.99 and it used to be $16.99. So I'm confused. It used to be $16.99 and it used to say Starbucks. I don't know. Maybe it'll taste good. Maybe it'll taste bad. We'll see. Great thing about Costco is not only do they have the price adjustment policy, but they have a return policy. I'm hoping I don't have to return this. 2.5 pounds for $13.99. You cannot go wrong. I'm just hoping it tastes good. We got the hummus. I love this hummus. $5.99 for this huge, huge container. I love this. Um, sometimes we'll have it with the tortilla chips or we'll use it on sandwiches. Really, really great deal on that. Huge. This is actually a new fruit court item, which I was really excited about. This is the it's real, like a rotisserie chicken Caesar salad. So yeah, really, really good here. You have the Parmesan, um, yeah, Parmesan cheese, chicken. You also have the dressing and then the croutons. So this, once you take it out of the package, it's huge, like $6.99, really big, big salad. And if you live near Costco and you want to go and get your lunch, this would be a great, this would make a great lunch. As a matter of fact, you could probably split it in half. You, the size is not really coming off very well on the camera, but it's really big. Like, I feel like I could feed my family. And they do sell a Caesar salad for about $8.99 at Costco, but it doesn't have the chicken. So I really like this food court find. I think this is really, really good. Right along with the pizza coming in at like $9.99 and a dollar fifty for a hot dog. You just can't go wrong with the the Costco, you know, food court items. Got the this is not this is really my favorite, but not the best pricing. And I really wish, I just really wish that they had some kind of like sale on this. So this is the blueberry cinnamon nut granola by Nutrail. It's low carb, only two net carbs, and it's really, really good. They have like these little freeze-dried blueberries and it just tastes so good with the pumpkin seeds and the pecans. Really great. Got the canned chicken. Love this stuff. I use it in my broccoli cheddar soup and I use it for chicken salads and things like that. You can also use it for chicken burgers. Anything you would make chicken kind of like a or tuna with, you can do with that. $11.99 for this. And then I have really fallen in love with the Kirkland Ultra Shine. I was getting the Dawn whenever it was on sale, but sometimes the sales would just go too far and few between. So I said, let's just try it. $7.99 for this, and it lasts forever. It's just as good, if not better, than Dawn. And let me tell you about Dawn. Even when it's on sale, this is cheaper. So even when Dawn is on sale, it's about $9.99. This is $7.99, always the same price, and it's amazing. All right, let me show you a couple of deals I got at my local grocery store. So this is Kroger. If you have fries, it was like fries. They There's one by my house that really just has a lot of good markdowns. And I do recommend you look for markdowns if you want to stay on a budget, if you want to get good deals on things. It's a really, really good way to do it. These are retail $3.99. So $2.02 brings down about 50 cents. And the expiration was still really good. You can see here I got the Chipotle cheddar and the avocado ranch salad kits. These are great if you just want them for lunch or if you want to have them as like a, you know, a side dish for your family. Maybe when you're having the meatballs or you're having some, you know, burgers or something with the ground beef or maybe a meatloaf with the turkey. It's really, really great to get those. So that's everything we got at Costco. Let me know what you guys are going to get. Stay tuned for that coupon book. It will show you all the previews for different things that you guys can get on sale. You don't need any coupons. You just go to the register and you get the deal. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. I wanted to share with you a quick Chalk Zero purchase that I just made. So a little Chalk Zero haul for you. I do have a discount code and I, I absolutely love that I can share that with you guys. I've been eating this for about five years. I don't get a discount, but if you guys purchase, you get a discount and I get a little bit of a kickback and I do appreciate that, but you don't have to. I just want to share this because I'm obsessed with Chalk Zero. I did get chocolate milk, or milk chocolate orange, 50% cocoa, dark chocolate squares, and then I got two jams and the new Rhea, Rhea, Rhea candy bars. I love this stuff. Okay, so the orange chocolate tastes literally tastes like 
those little orange chocolate candies I used to have growing up. My dad used to get them for us. And then the, I also love the fact that they have the marmalade. I dipped the dark chocolate in the marmalade. Oh, so good. If you are low carb or keto, the marmalade and the jelly, the strawberry jelly tastes just like the regular. So you can make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like you used to. And then these Rhea bars. Oh my gosh, they're so good guys. Oh my gosh, by the time you're watching this video, these are already gone. <laughs> I don't even know if they're in stock. I got them as soon as they dropped them. They taste like Snickers. I'm not even kidding. They're gluten-free keto. Free, they're keto and they're soy-free. They have caramel, peanuts, and nougat. And even my kids say they taste a lot like Snickers because the nougat and the caramel is on point. Plus with those peanuts, so delicious. So if you do want to grab this, go ahead and use the discount code Free to Family at, at checkout and it'll save you. But again, I use my own money to buy this. Hands down, one of my absolute favorite chocolates and I don't pretty much eat anything else. It's low carb. It's keto, it's sugar-free, and they use monk fruit. So definitely go ahead, use the link below or the code free to family at checkout to save. And don't forget to take advantage of these offers and great ways to earn more money. With Rakuten, you can get an additional $30 bonus when you sign up and spend $30 or more using the referral link in the video description. You can also receive up to 20% cash back every time you shop at your favorite stores. Just use the app or the Chrome extension. Next, we have the Ibotta app where you can get cash back when doing your grocery shopping. You can also receive a $10 bonus when you sign up and upload your first receipt using the referral code on the screen or the referral link in the description box below. And in case you want to maximize your rewards, you can use a second app like Fetch Rewards to upload the same receipt you just used from the Ibotta app. Fetch is super easy to use as it will give you points just for uploading any type of receipt and you will get 2,000 points equal to $2 in rewards just for signing up with this referral code on the screen. Seriously, don't miss out on any of these offers and amazing ways to make extra money. You can also earn more money by referring your own friends and family. So get started today.